Hey, and welcome to the show. This show is brought to you by Patreon members like you. Thank you for being a Patreon member. As a Patreon member, you get a video of the podcast that we put out twice a month. Now, on with the show. You good? Uh, yeah. You Jeremy's good? there. Jeremy's there? Yeah. Oh, Jeremy. 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 I get yelled at every time I say his name. It's not Jeremy, it's Jeremy to me. <laughs> uh, hey guys, and welcome to the show. How was your weekend? Um, fun. What did you do? I don't know, man. Did you yell at I your kid all night? Up, Were yeah, you yelling much. while you were moving around the house? Yeah, drink a lot. Just just drink a lot. We well, had those three bottles of wine. Six bottles. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, six, six bottles of wine. Yeah. I had a customer send, him, send us wine, six and I don't bottles. drink, so. He got all of them. <laughs> Why not? Dang, I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> whoa, whoa. I mean, you know, you don't buy Hopping a box bottles. of Twinkies to take your time with them. Yeah, I'm assuming much. wine is the same way. Um, yeah. But so, did you do anything yeah. good? No, I actually work on Naomi's bed. You know what you yeah. didn't do? What? Is you weren't going on to Facebook and approving everyone that wanted to get into I the did. group. Really? Yeah. Because every time I, I went in, there was like 50 more guys. Yes. I did. Really? How many times like, did you do it? I just did it like four or five times. This weekend? Yes. Really? So for you guys that don't know what we're talking about is the Clean Wire Club <laughs> here on Facebook. 12 volt Clean Wire Club. Make sure you become a member. Right. It be anybody you want. It's just where you can go and see pictures of everyone's clean wire. Mm -hmm. Or if you have clean wiring, wiring of your own, put it there. Or if you see some clean wiring and you mm -hmm. want to ask the guy who posted the picture, yeah. like tips, how he did it, what kind of plastic he used, how many zip ties did he happen to use. Things like that, that's the whole idea behind it so we can create a community around everyone that makes awesome wiring. That's right. Uh, because we feel like there's tons of pictures of cool flashy panels and this, that, and the other. It's and that's, beautiful. That's a small portion of this industry. And you know, like the SPL guys, I always love seeing, which which Mel, you know those guys, right? Oh yeah. The guys that have like five batteries and then like 200 What's connections of zero gauge. Yeah. Yeah, Salud. so 12 volt clean wire club is where you can go and become a member and have yeah. lots of fun there as well as the new uh, YouTube channel uh, for shows like this that are an hour long and we do lots of neat stuff like we're going to do tonight we have all these phantoms sitting here in the dark waiting to come out and tell us about a bunch of new That's stinger right. and echo master and phoenix gold products from amp global correct we can cut those up, put them into small segments, and you guys can watch them when you want. And you can do that on a new YouTube channel, which is Dean and Fernando's Car Stereo Clips. That's right. Easiest way to find it is do a search for the channel. So go in your settings, select channel search. Don't just do an overall search because, unfortunately, our names are enough on YouTube that if you just type in Dean and Fernando, you get like all these other videos and you won't find the channel. Search so until channel. it gets bigger, that's where we're at. Do the best we can, guys. And can. yeah. What's our Robert? Spaghetti is good. What's that, Jason? We, we were going to call it the Car Stereo Spaghetti page, but we knew what we'd get, and that wasn't what we were going for. Uh, really? No. What's up, Jason? All right, so the plan tonight is simple. We're going to bring these guys up. They're going to talk about their stuff. We're going to learn a bunch of new stuff. You guys, as well as us, are going to learn new stuff. And then we're going to take a small pause, but you're going to watch it as we see if you see all these cool little blue pieces of tape on the carpet, on the carpet, on the floor. We're going to bring all the chairs back and we're going to answer some questions and just, you know, talk car stereo stuff. It's going to be right. a lot of fun. You excited? I'm excited. Let's go. All right. Well, why don't you head over <laughs> there and, and just like breathe Let's in your bring. own little bubble. Mm -hmm. Take your Corona. <laughs> and we're gonna bring up Mel. I got one. Whose beautiful car this is, and he's gonna talk to us about some of the new RGB lighting stuff that they have. Yeah, yeah so RGB lighting, our Where's stinger RGB lighting. Oh, you know hey, what? You got props, man. I Get do props. Have props. We want I props. A, I can hold some. RGB lighting here. So, what we have is this is my personal car back here that you see the RGB light dancing right now. So, this is our stinger. Uh, RGB lighting, the regular, the non-dynamic, and then we also have the new dynamic lighting, uh, which was just released this year. He got a trophy on his way up here. It's pretty. It's it's flashy like the lights. <laughs> First place. He's an SPL guy, just in case all you guys out there. I SPL am. guy. What's your Instagram page again? You, it yeah. is Team Phoenix Gold. Team Phoenix Gold, but yeah, he got first place on his way over here. Oh, what we a got guy. two. We got two. I know I only grabbed one. That's okay. They're small. That's okay. We might not get this one back. That's okay. We'll do that with you guys there. <laughs> so, all right. So what do we got? So we got Stinger RGB controller. 
And that's basically what controls it using my phone and the app that I have on my phone right now. Do you have one of these in your car? I do. I actually have two of them going and basically what it does is it gives me different variation of colors and lighting that uh, we can play with and it's good. Uh, Let's play. Right here. We'll play. On my, uh, on my little screen. So you can go screen. one color. Okay, so we got like a turquoise. You can go any color though, right? Because it's we full can. RGB nuts. Ooh. Oh, yeah, look at pulsating that. green, pulsating blue. Let's see here, white strobe. So we got a lot of different things that we can actually do on this. So this Rainbow is Bluetooth. Jumping. This is a Bluetooth dongle. It is. So we got a accessory, a ground, and the blue white is the trigger. It is. All right, and then we have the connections. That four are connection points. Basically, all connect together off oh. of the, uh, the deal there. How so big is the is the roll? Five meters. Five meters. Mm -hmm. And five or twelve volts. Uh, you got it for the rest of Americans. <laughs> <laughs> That's five meters. It's 22 degrees Celsius out Everything right now. Up. Don't do anything using the standard method here, do we? So no, no, that's plug okay. Plug and play into the system. This is the new dynamic lighting. This is a little bit wider than what I have on the vehicle now. Uh, it's much nicer, very, very bright, much brighter color in the new dynamic lighting that we have. So this is this is cut to solder, I'm guessing. So it, it is. Has, it has three lights per every solder for every cut point, mm -hmm. and it's directional. So if you, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you look here. See the LEDs, you see the silver spots right here. These that's the cut point. And then you guys sell these, I'm assuming. We do these regular ends. And so you also have them in the packet. Hey, they were underneath my arm. Hold that. Oh, oh so as well as the well, RGB got. controller that Johnny you can have on your hand. RGB or RGB RGB. 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 Okay. So here's the controller. So that that's if you don't want to use the phone app. Correct. Which we we're using the phone. Okay, so in this package then comes with extra ones. Oh, look at that. Multiple so the, strings. And this is the, the dynamic controller, the SPX RGB CD. Thank you. Yeah. Stinger Marine. I have a love hate uh, relationship with the model part numbers. All right, that's awesome. Now they have, along with these, they have the cool new antennas, or like they call the lightsabers. Yes. With yeah, the, whips. the whole, the whip. Okay. Yeah, dynamic okay. whips. We have the basic ones, which are five foot and four foot, and a single LED strip, as well as a dual LED strip. And the new dynamic one, which is actually wrapped uh, all the way around. And yeah, that thing's sexy. Yeah, it is. We have a very, it's a proprietary, proprietary type of connection where you can actually, it's a coupler link that you can take on and take off right away. Um, they're, they're it looks like an antenna, but it's not an yeah, antenna. They're, they're actually made for, uh, for off-road vehicles and uh, we call those ATVs that you see flying through the sand dunes and so forth. Or so. just kids that want to have lightsaber boards. Oh, there you go. That's the first thing I thought, right? Who didn't? You like, you didn't want to grab it and just be like, come on, man! <laughs> grab one, let's beat each other up! So we do have that. We have many variations of Stinger lighting. Uh, it's a whole new category. It's a category that we're trying to bring up, and we know that uh, we're doing very well with that category. So. And, oh, let's put the remote back in. Where yeah. do they find all this cool stuff? StingerElectronics.com. They couldn't make it easy. All right, do you guys sell extensions to add more? Yes. Okay. Yes, we do. They have like a distribution for these, or you could. So I guess the real thing is, is it's just a three wire. So this is a red, white, black right. connection that's going to solder to these little tabs right here. And I'm assuming you can probably solder from here onto the next. Onto right. the you next. Could. You right. only need because. So how many feet can? The, do we know how many feet that this can power? So I I want to stick to one for five meters. Is what I okay, do. So one roll, one, one controller. controller. Correct. Four four rolls. Four rolls. You can say it out loud. It's okay. Four rolls off one controller. Four rolls off one controller. Okay. Okay, so 20 meters. 20 meters yeah. is fine. Hey, basic math. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> 60 feet. 60 feet. And that's why he's Captain America, people. There you go. You'll meet Steve Rogers. That's Soon the guy enough. that makes all the money in our group right there, and you'll see him in our pool. That's right. <laughs> no, he's just the one with his own custom shirt saying, I don't want to look like I bowl. <laughs> And honestly, the best hair. So. Oh, come on now. Well, I'm losing mine. So. I was just saying. So, seriously, you're going to fight that? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody will see what we're talking about here in a minute when Steve comes on. So. What, do you, what do you got, Fernando? All right. I um, wonder what the maximum amount of the LED strips each controller will run. All right, so that's what we said. We can run four rolls of these. So one controller, four rolls. All right, sweet. And you can link multiple controllers together in the app. 
Okay, so oh, that's nice. even better. So how many how many controllers can we can we? Uh, I think I've seen dozens. Yeah, Jeff set up the booth at CES. Oh, and it's has all a, off of off one. One app, every one of those kiosks. All right, well, let's turn this to a solid or a slower thing, so we're not in a techno rate. Very good. Is that? <laughs> so, well, there you go. So. You can have as many controllers as you want, and you can just go crazy. So and you it's guys for Android and Apple, right? Okay, there you go. Cool. Questions? Anything else? That was well, easy. good. Well, if you have more questions about LEDs, just feel free to ask. Of course, the car is going to yeah. stay. We're not going to pull it out. And we'll move on to our next guest, which is going to talk about a product you guys are so psyched about. Thank you, Mel. And if I can have you, Mel, help me bring this, this table yeah. out. Oh, grab, the, grab the metal. There we go. All right. That's good. We're good right there. Perfect. All right. Okay. So Not now. Mike, but you got it. Totally so different. Uh, That's Mike. Introduce Hi, yourself, oh. kind sir. How you doing? Oh. Christian Venn. Actually, take a step back. You're the tall one in the group. All right. We're just, we're just going <laughs> to lose your head. It's not going to work. It's no. not going to work. You're too tall. Yeah. <laughs> so. Obviously, this does not look like our Elevate, which is our 8 inch that's been out for a while. We have one this right there if you want to compare it to. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Hold on. Hang on. Come on, Dean. I'm going as fast as I can. Elevate. It's dollar speed. So for those who haven't seen it, this is our inch. We got this one for you, Steve. Oh, you can mount it. Live it, yep. Whichever way it looks best in the vehicle. Which is a cool new feature. I love that. This is compared to the 10. We designed these to be very OEM-like, so they look very factory in a lot of vehicles, especially you, a lot of the newer vehicles. Not to interrupt, but have you seen the new Blazer from Chevy? Yeah. Yes. It looks just like an Elevate. I was and actually, we were, we were at Epcot, and I was like, what the heck? And I sent a picture <laughs> over to Nathan, and I said, have you seen this? And he goes, what's that in? I'm like, dude, it's the factory radio. He's like, oh, really? Look like that. Really? Honda. And that's, and I like to point that out because a lot of people, when we came out with this, were oh, confused. freaking out. They were confused at the shape. So now that these vehicles are coming out with this, now it makes sense. It's almost like you knew something, but you didn't. Right. It was straight accident. All right, but let's talk about the <laughs> Okay, <laughs> anyway. Product. All right, okay, anyway. Yep, just start over there. Awesome. It doesn't so, matter. We know the guy that will replace yeah. it. Break. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the unique things about this radio is that it's a modular radio, which means the screen is separate from the brain. So you can mount the brain to the screen or anywhere within up to 18 inches. So for 18 inches. 18 inches. Okay. You can but also make an extension. you can buy the extension cable separately if you have something that you need to do custom. Like we've seen some done. Same with the Elevate. Okay. Some done in center consoles or you know things like that, where you need a longer reach of cable between the brain and, and the screen. Do Do we know how thick this is? One point, uh, one point eight, one and an eighth inch. At its thickest. At its thickest. Strong. Yeah. Six. Now, for example, <laughs> I have I have the Elevate already in my car, right? For example. And I want to change it. Same cables? Same cables. Everything's the same. Okay. The brain is separate. Different. Okay. The, uh, that the brain and the screen are unique to each other. So you can't take an Elevate brain and correct. attach a heightened screen to it. No, no, no correct. You, you got to change the whole wiring thing. Wise, but wiring wise, it's all identical. Have any of you guys seen John Wick 3? Yes. You yes. know the old lady that is the, the, the Russian chick that is going to pay, you know, to get him out of the country? Right. Does he not sound like that right now? Yeah. <laughs> he sounds just like her. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> uh, you like it. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Not to sidetrack, but it just, it's been bugging me. All right. So, you yeah, can't so use anyway, the same brain. Go ahead. If, if you do have an Elevate and you want to switch to the Heighten, all you have to do is take the brain out, all the cables, everything that's in the vehicle, it just plugs into the, height, the new Heighten brain and then you mount the screen. You can still keep those same cables that run from the brain to the screen, they're the same. So so all the accessories that you buy for one radio will interchange also. So the uh, the GPS chip that you can buy for yep. the Elevate plugs right Correct. into this. Correct. But, but it does have Android Auto, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wired. Yep. Wired. Yeah. Wired. Wired. So wired. it's not wired. wired. And wired. it has one big volume knob right in the middle. All right, this is the question of the year. Nicholas asks, when 
we are going to see the optical out on one of these bad boys. Today is your day, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> you were today years old when we learned that. Today is your day. Hold they on. both have toss link out. I'll grab the brand new. I'm here for you, bro. You are, man. You're like Vanna White. Uh, no, Some sexier. You don't have to get too close. There you go. I'm not so good at There we go. Right there. There you go. Perfect. We got it. Optical out. All right. Optical out. So they What's already have one. What's the unique about the optical out, though? Uh, so it's, it's, it's variable, yeah. which means... As you, as you turn up and down the volume, the optical output will change, which is volume, very cool. So you don't need increase. a separate knob. The volume board. will increase. <laughs> That's always good. And it supports all sources. Because there's been some stuff out there that doesn't. Right. Hey, no idea what you're talking about. So another thing that's very <laughs> unique to our radios is we have four camera switching built in. So if you want to do blind spots, if you want to do reverse, if you want to do a front camera, you can do that into this piece. It switches automatically, and also our rear camera is audio video. So if you're going to do this in, you know, say like an RV or something like that, or you're going to tow a trailer, you have the option to do an audio video rear camera to where if you're backing up, you know, if somebody's directing you or whatever and they're yeah. speaking, they can hear you, or you can hear them rather. Ooh, look at that. You can camera switcher. And obviously there's nothing hooked up to this, but if you wanted to force on any of these cameras at any time, you could How do How many that. you can add? Four. Four, all right. Well, wow. technically you could pretty much add as many as you want if you get the four yeah. camera switching system add-on, which, yes. is, which is, is the BS41. Perfect. There you go. I had a guy this weekend that was asking if he could add a second backup camera to his car. So he already has a backup camera, but he has a trailer. And he wants to add a trailer cam, but his radio only had one camera, so I was like, uh, the 21. So, of course, I can never remember the first two letters. So I was like, oh, VS41 video switcher. Video switcher. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. So, sometimes the part numbers make sense. Sometimes they make sense. Not always. And this radio doesn't have built in GPS, right? Correct. All right. But it, can be added it, does on. it is an option to add on. Yeah, there's a uh, SD card slot located here. I, should, I should just hang on to this. Yeah. So, Right on the brain, which makes it really easy, right here. So you can do it at the time of the installation, or if it's easy to get to, they can add it later on. So it just pops right in, and you got it. It's I go navigation. All right. You guys want to see a little bit more? And then this is this is the length of the standard cables that it comes with, right here. And then you can get one that's twice as long as an option. And you can mount it double stacked, so it comes with a little bracket, which is so it comes with this bracket here in a single DIN application. Oh, yeah. This is what you would use. So you would just mount this to the kit. This is the uh, call it like a call it like a, a TV type bracket. This mount. Yeah. And you can double stack the brain to this mount for a double DIN application. So the versatility of these radios, if you can fit it in the vehicle where it's not blocking, you know, some sort of uh, you know air vent or something like that, you can pretty much put it in just about any car. So double DIN, single DIN, uh, it has a lot of adjustment, a lot of depth. It has uh, you can tilt it side to side, towards or away from the driver. Uh, a lot of height. There's it's pretty much almost endless possibilities. Here's some of the tilt. It's very, very versatile, universal radio. You know, I, I want to, you know, sometimes people think, you know, what, what kind of dash kits, you know, do you need for this radio? It works in everything. So you use a standard plastic and put the radio in. Now, on that note, though, we do have some vehicle-specific applications coming. So end of May, you're going to start seeing some of those happen, starting with the uh, the JL and the Gladiator, which will have our new UI. Yeah, scoop back a little bit. If you want to see, like, images of those, like the image I just showed you on the phone, that is the new Chevy uh, full-size pickup truck that's going to be coming out. Do you have pictures of the Jeeps? Yep. We also have images of them. If you watch 
the day two video of Knowledge Fest California. We're in the booth and they have them on display there and we, we show what they look like. It's pretty cool. They should start populating too. Um, Page yeah, that's what I was like yeah. to tell you. If you guys uh, check the website from Stinger, you guys can check so the all Jeep. the pictures that you guys had in there. They can really also. Nice. So there's a new UI, so you'll be able, you'll be able to have some of the factory features on them, like your climate control and your altimeter and, and those type of, of features like that. And uh, those those will start to become available around the uh, end of the May time frame along with some vehicle specific just plastics you know like silverado uh, we'll have some chryslers following suit gps antenna is in the box uh, bluetooth microphone built into the screen as well We're, as well as an external i was going to say so you yeah. can use you can use, you you can use one or the other okay so what he was saying is there's a microphone built here into this or there is also an external mic so you can use this one if it sounds great close enough to you no road noise no no ground noise no anything use this if it's a situation where it is going to be far like in a, a bigger vehicle where the screen might be far away and you want the mic to be closer to you it comes with an external mic that you can mount closer all right so Johnny has a question on the jail Jeep the brain goes behind the screen or behind below the, the steering wheel yeah it mounts vertically behind the screen okay our unit will fit all within the factory cubby Nice. You mean that other companies that doesn't? <laughs> we try to be thoughtful with the stuff that we come out with. Ah, uh, you're so That's caring. why we talk to you guys so much, right? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there brackets for big rigs like Mack trucks uh, for us from South Dakota farmers? Absolutely. It's called ABS. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, the, okay, so all seriousness aside, any kit that exists now, you can put these in. So mm -hmm. if there is a, a like a single DIN in there, the idea behind this is that this can still go in a single DIN mount with this with this bracket. It, it's We actually have a, a single DIN application that bolts to the front of that. Yeah, so there are parts to, so if you just have a little tiny radio in there, you can pull that out. But keep in mind, this is the only thing that really has to be mounted. This can go anywhere. So, I mean, you could, Wherever you got room, put this. And that can be cut. And this can be, yes, this is just plastic, so it can be shrunk down. Um, you can do anything you want with this. You can, you could literally just cut the whole front of this off and put it on an L bracket and mount it on top of your dash if you wanted. L bracket actually comes in the box. There's an L bracket in the box. There you go. I grabbed it, but because the front clip is on there, you can't really, you can't really hook it up. And but. here's the L bracket. It's nice and made out of metal because the idea behind this is you mount these two on top of one another. And which, if you want to see how this all assembles, if you Check watch our video. Elevate video we have, we, we show you all the pieces and parts and we build all the examples so you can get an idea of how it works. Eventually, we'll have one on the high tent. Price. That's a different topic. Uh, do we have a price on it? Do you want a price? We, we I don't really know. care. If you want a price, you can find it on. Retail is $9.99. There you go. And it which is you readily can find available. Out, Yes, you can get it at your local uh, Amp Global distributor now or, mm -hmm. or store, dealer. 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 That's the word. See, these are outside guys. Um, anything else we got we want to talk about? If you have any more questions about them, just like the LGB, RGB lighting, just feel free to ask. We'll circle back around or save it to the end when we're in a round table portion. You can ask those questions there. We're going to take this off right now, and now we're going to talk about some Echo Master cameras. What's up, Chris? Uh, Mark, real quick, uh, do you guys ever put it on the Civic? On the Civic? Yeah, it should fit because it's the, 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 we've got a silk availability in that, and they I'll can actually use the bracket to okay, tilt it forward. It okay. And then you have an ancient wedge in there that will give you uh, five degrees left or right, and then you can take the, the actual mount and pivot it forward 15 degrees, positive or negative. Okay, there you go, guys. Oh, goody! Yeah, I'm gonna talk about cameras. You're gonna talk about cameras. These almost look like rig style cameras, like What's up, Marty? May maybe Marty for King. like those tractors that guy was talking about. Tell us who you are first. Yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm Nathan Larson. I'm Northern California, Northern Nevada. That's where I'm from. So, out here. so <laughs> the, so this product we started showing this year at SEMA, and we had at SEMA at CES, we had Knowledge Fest. Um, this is our fleet, our commercial, our sprinters, our um, 
are vans, all that kind of application type Tow of Tow trucks. Product. Yeah. RVs. But, but we're we're so one nice. of the first to the market with a full Tractors. line of 720p analog high definition products. So we have six cameras in the line. We have two monitors in the line. There's two DVRs in the line. And is this a family friendly show? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna say the bad word. No bad we word. We have a wireless camera. And um, which- uh, Yeah, but your wireless works. Yeah, but it's always fun to go to a dealer and just say, yeah, we have a wireless camera. And you wait to the look on their face when they say it doesn't work. So I'll go into that Question, one then. Yes. Yeah, so, so this was this was good, like the, when we were talking about earlier, the guy that has the trailer that wants to add a trailer cam, or if he didn't already have a radio in the dash, this would be the system he could add to his trailer. Does this screen also have a input for one of these cameras? So no. you could do like a two camera system? No, this is kind of a closed system in the box. Closed system in the box. Does it only do one camera? One camera. So it's a one camera system. Yeah. But if you've got a car and it just pulls one trailer and you have a factory back camera. Man? It's wireless. It's, well, but distance. Distance. We've all played around with these ourselves, and what's the distance on it that you guys have had? Three hundred yards. I heard quarter mile. I mean, it's it's going to go way further than you ever need to in a vehicle. That's some voyeur stuff there. We 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 <laughs> used them inside of the Knowledge Fest building. We had our booth in the back. It was probably a hundred yards, maybe over to the food oh, area wow. or whatever. With all the congestion completely through there, we run it what a hundred something feet inside of our our building from one side. I mean. So um, it works fantastic. So, so there's two monitors and there's six cameras. Now, so they, we have on the monitors, this is a four camera input monitor. We have a two camera input monitor and you can split the screen and, and view it several different ways. And then the six different cameras. Yeah. So it's like a security system almost. Yeah, yeah, so these screen. are, yeah, and this is a dual camera here with a microphone built into it. So this would be, you could plug, this would work in a height. Um, no, it will no. not. So here's See, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is the key thing on these when when selling and using these. So these are all connected through GXE connectors, and it and it runs in a high definition. Wow. From this to that, even though some of these come with a little connector that would go to, with an RCA, this will this one actually will accept an analog input. But you cannot send this into any other screen other than our screen. So if you've got say. Kenwood has a high definition screen. We have a high definition screen. Mm -hmm. you c it will not accept that input. It's it's digital. You can't. So it's it's not like you're. That's you're, awesome. You're yeah. And like I said, we're all learning here today. So right. um, yeah. so some key features on this product. It's map protected. That's huge. Um, it has uh, the other one um, big thing about most of the cameras in this line is their. FM VSS 111 compliant, which is federal. Oh my motor. god, dude, you could really hurt yeah, somebody. It's, this with is this. a solid product. Holy and when you see the picture, man. I mean, if we had it working, it's it's high definition. Man, so this is built like a tank. And you want to box that? Dude, I, 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 yeah. All right, sorry. Keep no, going. you're good. You're good. So FM VSS compliant, and that's a compliancy. That's federal motor vehicle uh, safety. What's the last S? I get the wrong every time. Standard. Um, so <laughs> it, it reaches. It's like a DOT approval type of a thing. So it, there yeah. is there is a is a high quality. When you touch the product, you can you can really tell the difference. This is all metal too. This is like this is in the mount. The mount is metal. The camera is metal. The shroud. Okay. Is that no? Yeah, that is metal. So it's dealers. Metal, so dealers right? watching. Who do you sell this product to? You sell Should it to. It metal? Yeah, that's what I was getting yeah, to metal. grab. You sell this to. Um, Anybody who's coming in that has to do an off-board monitor, and it goes to this. You've got relationships yeah, so already is, with uh, a mount to a mount, a with, bar. with RV companies in your area. There's, um, there's, there's tow trucks, dump trucks, yeah. tow trucks. I mean, we've got tractors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you and and I know that, like dealers out there, you're doing work for the owner of a company who's got a whole fleet of a plumbing company, and you're doing that guy's, you know, you're doing his vet, and you're doing his whatever. So they so just ask the say, questions and do whatever. I'm sorry. No, you're good. you say the down mounts on a bar or something, people ask, can they use them as a dash cam? I mean, you could technically run these to one of our DVR systems. Yeah. Okay. And then it, you could mount it as a dash opportunity. So we, we make an HD DVR. Yeah, we have two, nice. two DVRs. As soon as possible. Okay. Yes, and so you can send this stuff into the DVR, and the DVR actually, if you didn't want to use this screen and use a different screen, the DVR will dumb it down to an analog. So you could send that into 
okay. a something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's cool. So, Meant to a height. There you go. So, yes. Wait, so this is the little guy. He, I don't think they can hear you when you go front. I know. The microphone. I talk loud. And you wish it made up to you. It's made out of metal. It's made out of aluminium. Um, do I like this? Dance. This so this one will mount here, upside right? down as well as... All of them except for one. What's that? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. There's night vision on all except for one, thank you. Which one doesn't have night vision? Uh, the little, the little one that I'm holding? Guy. No, that one does. Oh, the cube? <laughs> yeah. So why does this have two cameras? What is that doing for us? Um, for re- yeah. Oh, okay. floating at the ground and then you're lifting it up. All right. Yeah. Then they'll both appear on the screen or you toggle between the two? Toggle between the two. Yeah, this, this will be two screen. cameras. Oh, you do a split screen on yeah. your screen. So you do a, like the quad screen or the dual screen. On that, you can select the camera inputs. Which ones you want, all of them. Somewhere. So that's the so, advantage of having that dual camera system like that. And this is why when you guys ask about cameras and we say just go over to echomaster.com and pick right. what you want because they have like 500 different cameras there to choose from. It's really hard for us to know everything they make. Like this stuff is really cool, and we're learning about it today, just like you are, because we don't we don't get the opportunity to play with a lot of this, and most people don't even know cool stuff like this exists. That's why when they decided to come on, I was like, yeah, yeah, bring it. We want to see it. So you know, it's fun, and that, that thing years feels awesome. Of warranty to Echo so because it has a P in front of the model model number, this is our Pro Series. It's a three-year warranty. Okay. So all of our Pro Series products in Echo Master have a three-year warranty. Nice. Thank you, Jeremy. So this, this would be cool if you had like, like if you had a sprinter and you wanted to do all like you're doing a sprinter installation and you want to do mirror cams and you could put a camera inside to see what's going on behind the uh, driver's side, seat. Side, rear. We've got this is not everything. So, but they'll take up to four cameras. Now, do they have an expansion to go more than four cameras? At the present moment, no. No. So, four. Sorry, back to the night vision. Yes. Um, when, when I have a case of carry, but if you were to put your hand up in front of that, mm -hmm. it's almost like the new iPhone. You'll see the wrinkles in your hand. The night vision works that well. So it was like a zero lux camera? Yeah. Uh, I guess it would be, it's, yeah. It's very close. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah. oh, it's rated zero lux. Is it rated zero yeah, lux? Yeah. Wow. Ghost Hunters! Go. Let's do Ghost Hunters! I'm in! <laughs> yeah! Look at these, we're doing Ghost Hunters. I'm so, excited. So Dave used your cameras and he used them as the street sweepers. Street sweepers? Nice. Oh, even better! Yeah. Dave Harrell. Yeah, so what's the heat rating in these? Because, alright, so check this out. We had one guy that had paper shredders. And paper shredders get ungodly hot inside, but they have a camera that sits above it and he kept smoking the cameras because it gets like super hot in there. So I'm assuming these take really high heat. We'll have to ask. Yeah, well, I asked the one question. Well, that's partially where the, that FM VSS compliancy comes into. Okay. So they're, they're added a, a different standard than um, just the cameras that camera. aren't. It's, it's, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a professional grade DOT approval. It's a government so standard that they set. So this would probably have been the camera he needed. So yeah, that's it's, awesome. it's a federal motor vehicle cool. standard. I mean, a rubber, rubber, yeah, I guess. I need a magnetic mount for cam. Oh, for his 18-wheeler. Yeah, he's a so truck driver. Yeah. Your, your best bet is just use some neodymium magnets and glue them to the mount. To this? Right. Glue them Get to like the, the, the 90-pound neodymium magnets? Right. Yeah, that I would work. I actually have a dealer in Ocala that actually did that for a gentleman that has five different horse trailers. Yeah. He only has one pull rig. So, so you get this. Right, so they did. Get they the did wireless the, guy. The, the, uh, WR2 version or older version of this mm -hmm. and he wired it up in the truck put the receiver in one truck and he just literally they put pigtails on the trailer uh, lights and then he just neodymium to that tr to that truck that works well there you go Robert you we go. have a solution for you because what is this just has basic as far as power goes it's yeah, just power ground power ground so yeah so you could plug this into a cigarette lighter if you wanted to right. and like I said you could just wire it off the trailer lights and yeah, because it can be can on just, all the time. Right. Then you can just move it accordingly. Love it. Love it. What do you got? What else you got? That's all I got. That's really? Oh, that yeah. was a lot. I got that was a lot. Yeah. Thank That's you. Good. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right, let's lift this guy out of the way. You just go wide so you don't get caught in time. There you go. And who's up next? Uh. Oh. Can the DVR be triggered to record using an alarm proximity sensor? I think it has triggers on that DVR-50. I think it does have triggers on it. Look it up on your phone real quick. 
We'll check into that while we're doing other discussions. The DVR-50 does it have negative trigger inputs? It has switchable. Switchable? But will it will it take like a shock sensor to turn it into basically a or a prox? I can look it up. Like a 555 555 T. Triggers in that are all assignable. Yeah, they, I just don't know. Positive or negative. We'll look into that some yeah. more, and yeah. we'll, we'll we'll touch back on that. So stay tuned. Um, all right. Is uh, is the DVR built-in memory or external memory? That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, built-in memory. But it's got two, it has, SD yeah, two SD card slots. Keep stackable. watching on the whole external. Okay. Keep what? Is keep watching. For, keep keep your eye out. Keep your keep eye out for, for, for external for cloud-based stuff. Yeah, Echo Master is constantly doing fun stuff. Okay, so constantly they, evolving. Go to echomaster.com on the search. You just type in AHD, hit go. It'll pull up all the AHD products. There you go. Yeah. It, and like we said, oh, if it's not working today, go tomorrow. Echomaster.com. Check it out. Yep. All, right. All right, so introduce yourself, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Eckley, uh, Team Phantom for Florida region. Um, and we're gonna talk to you guys about a product that's up and coming. So we're probably within the end of May, uh, beginning of June, we're gonna be showing you guys the new SPX M1, which is our marine based radio. Uh, it's IPX6 rated on the face. Um, you have camera. So what is IPX6? Let's do that real quick. What so does that it's mean for it's us basically guys? solid steel, solid sealed faceplate. So dirt, debris, water, sea spray, things of that nature. I mean, not directly submergible, obviously. Not a bucket of water. No. Hose it off gently. Hose. No, you can hit it with a with a pressure washer. Really, a full so pressure washer. Full pressure washer. You can take the hit to the screen. Okay. Oh, wow. so, so if we're going through mud, we're going through craziness. This isn't right. going to be affected. And, and this is obviously mounted in the dash, and I should have brought in one of the new Razor dash kits. We could have had it kind of mounted oh, up okay. and set it up. But again. Um, you know, it's it's the first of our of one of many parts that are going to be coming again, like Mel touched in the lighting application. We're kind of doing that whole side in the power sports division as well. Well, you mentioned lighting, so we'll just go ahead and go there. Will this control my lighting? So there's a really cool feature that's built into the radio. It's actually going to be going to uh, a product that we're going to be releasing right around the same time called Switch Hub. Um, and Switch Hub is going to allow you to use the four trigger outputs that are actually on the radio, 150 milliamp outputs will tie into uh, our switch hub that will give you 100 amp output capability. 100 amp. So three dedicated 20 amp circuits and one 40 amp dedicated circuit. So what's really cool about that is with a lot of these ATVs, guys are running big, these big fans. Mm -hmm. We can actually control that all from here and then use the other three 20 amps to control lighting and whatever else they might have on the buggy. Now, if you guys want to see that actually in action working, oddly enough, we do have some footage of it if you watch our 2020 CES review, Jeff Smith does a really good job of showing how that works. So if that relay thing is like, oh, I've been waiting for that, yeah. we do have video of it working on there to show you. And now that I talk about Jeff Smith, he said he can take a shower, not a bath. That's right. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I see it. I see what looks like a camera input. Yep. Is that so a that's camera input? that is a camera input. So yes, it's got a little screen in here, but you can tie it to a, a camera. And that way, when they put the buggy in reverse, they can see behind them or whatever vehicle you're putting this in. So does it, RTV, just, well, yeah. does it just have a standard trigger? So like if standard they standard trigger. So like if they're one of those people that are doing like rock crawling and stuff, and they want to put that camera off to the side or whatever. Again, you can tie that to one of the triggers based in the screen if you'd like to. So you can oh, turn okay. it on. Oh, you can yeah. just turn it on right. or off any way you want. Right. Oh, yeah, so I mean, think outside the box. Right? I, I'm not yeah. in that box. So uh, <laughs> standard USB. What's that? All right. So any plans to add a switch? Uh, Stay, yeah, tuned. Okay. Stay tuned. Stay um, tuned. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to say 100% yes, but it's it's. You guys working on? We're that. working on always okay. expanding, especially when we have uh, new products like that. We're going to start to figure out how to integrate them into other aspects. Well, yeah. So and, you know, it's also the first year for a Stinger for the Elevate and the right. Ten. So I yeah, mean, Elevate was last year. Heightens this year. I mean, it's it's constantly evolving, guys. And and like I said, we we take all the feedback we can from our dealers and try to give you guys as many solutions as possible. One of the other cool, really cool features is this, is it's front and rear output or front and sub output. Um, it's got a uh, seven band EQ built in with eight presets that you can save, um, which, is, wow. which is really eight unique. presets? Really unique in the setup <laughs> of the radio. Um, again, uh, we will have a hardwired remote that will be releasable later in the summer. Okay. So that you can have it in a boat and create zones, things of mm -hmm. that nature. Um, 
if you press and hold the, the volume knob, it'll actually become the sub setting if it's if it's tied to sub. Okay, eight presets makes sense now for a boat. Because right. I was thinking, hey, TV, what, what, yeah. but, and, you know. You got to think, of, we're looking at all application yeah, capabilities. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if I need eight, but, I mean, right. you know, good two or three, but, yeah. hey, you know, build eight. Four anyway, you don't have to go back. Forklift, 24, 12 volts. 12 volts. Or 24. 12 volts. 12 volts. So it's only 12 volts. Right. You, need present a step, time, yes. you need a step down. Step down adapter. Yep. There you go. Um, and like I said, this is uh, this will be shipping, like I said, end of May, beginning of June. Keep your eyes open. Uh, part numbers in the system for any dealers that are out there watching and listening. We're taking pre-orders on them now, so please get a hold of your Phantoms, your inside sales team at AMP, and we're here to help you. Now, is it Bluetooth? It does have Bluetooth capability. But audio only? Uh, yes, audio only. Okay. No phone call. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 you don't, but that's always been the yeah. thing is that everyone with their marine stuff is just reworked car audio stuff, so I always give you a mic and then it's like, I, I'm really not going to be able to do anything yeah. with that, so. And it, and it does have wired USB. Wired USB, it has wired which aux. we have a marine grade USB adapter with the water seal type front place on it, mm -hmm. so that's under the Stinger Marine products as well. Now, so again, everything kind of fits together. That you is that up on the website yet? This is actually up on the website. The it's, it's, it's under infotainment. <laughs> All right. What is the name of the product? SPX M1. SPX. SPX M1. There you go. So it's under the Stinger Electronics, under infotainment. You'll see the heighten, the elevate, and then the M1. So we've talked about RGB lighting. <laughs> The Stinger side is going to be blowing up tonight, apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've good. talked about the radios, we've talked about the RGB lighting, and now we've talked about the cool ATV, or j just new, the, the, yeah. the new radio we can beat with a hammer. I mean, essentially, that's what it's for, right? No, you don't well, that's no, no hammers. No hammers. This, no hammers. this yeah. is too pretty to Which, have hammers. the Stinger site's brand new, so if yeah. you had not checked it out, go there. Last yes. week. Last, really? last yep. week Friday, the new the new website went up. Well, in that full. case, just go up to the Stinger, what was it, Stinger? Stingerelectronics.com. Go to stingerelonic.com. Uh, okay, do what Mel said because he can speak English. <laughs> and uh, go there, check it out because there is a lot of new things. If you guys, uh, that's a pack piece, never mind. But yeah. What's that? The new USB aux hub or aux 3. USB aux 3. Yeah. That's today's video. Okay. Cool. You know, part of the family, that's though. That's what you guys have in the. Right there? Right there? No, uh, the aux no. 3? No. No, we've that's got the no. DMA 3. Okay. Yeah, that's the USB. Never mind. Okay. Funny. Is that yeah, it? That's that's All right, it. there again. Um, did we find anything out about the camera thing? Yeah, there's like, there's, yes, there's inputs for that. There's so like, if, so there's like eight inputs. There's a speed trigger input, and then there's actually outputs to go to telematics. Yeah. And speed trigger yeah, input. Thanks, Jeremy. So yeah, when he reaches a certain speed, it will then. All right, so there you go. So if you if you're long. interested in the cameras, then the DMR yeah. does have inputs for that. There you go. So yes to the impact Thank you, area sensor. Thank you, Mike. Next up, a man that needs no introduction, but we'll introduce him anyways, Mr. Steve Rogers, hey, Captain, Captain America. America. And you have something cool. You want me to hold that for you? Sure. Where's the other one? Let's get both of them out here. Oh, you got both. So we got both. We got one that has a back, <laughs> and then we have one that John Connellano broke the back on. <laughs> yeah. So what am I holding here? So that's an MX amplifier. For, for those who don't know, we have several lines within Phoenix Gold, and MX is designed to be the solution part of the line. Okay. So in the particular case of this, it's a solution for size, because we've been known to make a large amplifier or two. I have no idea what you're talking about. You want me to get one? We got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a couple, too. Yeah. I, I mean, they're right I behind you. There's some T3s right there, and there's a awesome. 9 right there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, no. <laughs> all of the MX amplifiers are all exactly the same chassis size, which is nice for installers if you try to make something symmetrical, or if you have to build a rack or a custom mount for something and you don't have the particular model in stock, you can take any of the amps and use it as your template for setting it up. Well, since there's three amps, what are the sizes of the three amplifiers? They are 10 inches by 6 inches by 2 inches. That was the physical size. Oh, I'm impressed like to know you knew that one because, dang, that one just threw me out. I was like, that wasn't what I was expecting, but way right. to go, man. Yeah, well, what is the physical power of the amplifiers? So, uh, so we have three different solutions. One is a four-channel amplifier, one is a monoblock amplifier, and one would be a five-channel system amplifier. The one that you're holding is the five-channel system amp. So that one, in most applications, you're going to use 2 ohm on the sub, right? Oh, yeah. So 400 watts for running Oh, it'll do 2 ohm on the sub. It will. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I almost missed that one. Well, Go ahead. Okay. Uh, two, ohm, <laughs> 2 ohm on the sub gives you 400 watts. 4 ohm on the, uh, on the 
other channels. four channels. channels will give you 70 by 4. If you do happen to have two ohm speakers, it will stable the two ohm on those channels. It'll do 100 by 4. Or if you just want to run eight speakers. Somebody yeah, asked that question do that last too. week. Yeah, you could. Um, <coughs> question? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the, the five channel is the system amp. All of them are going to have power and all high level connections on that end. And all preamp level connections are on the other side. So now, does does this use that switch, the Phoenix Gold switch, uh, the balance, balance non-balance? Yes. There is. Do you, want, the, do you want to talk about that sure. for a minute? So there's a mystery switch on the on the uh, preamp side of that thing that says balanced or unbalanced. And what that's going to be used for is if you're going to use a high level into the amp. So often, if you're uh, keeping the factory head unit, but you want to add power and maybe upgrade the speakers and things. Which is what a lot of people do nowadays. Yeah. Those systems, whether it's the factory deck or the factory amp, they mm -hmm. use what's called a balanced output. And to avoid getting noise problems and all those things, we allow you to put an or a balanced or unbalanced input into this amp, whichever is correct for what you're hooking up. So, so if we're connecting to a factory radio, we'd want to use balanced. If we're connecting correct. to an aftermarket radio's RCA section, we want to use unbalanced. Normally. Uh, upon occasion, <laughs> you'll find a... Uh, <laughs> upon you occasion, like, there's like two... <laughs> well, you'll, you'll <laughs> upon occasion <laughs> find some, uh, uh, some head units that uh, don't actually have a true unbalanced output. And when you do buy a lottery ticket that day? Yes. Yeah. You have a, you're, you're having that day. But you know what's cool? You're covered either way. Yeah, and that's what I like about it. So this is one of those cool solution amplifiers that you can just take into any problem and put it in Correct. and go. It's simple. Yeah. Uh, we talked about that uh, the other day. Someone was asking, like, they didn't know how they were going to have to connect in their, their system and to, to connect into their system. And I was like, you know, buy an amplifier such as, hmm. like, the Phoenix Gold that you can run balanced, unbalanced, high level or low level directly into the RCA section of the amplifier yeah. and you don't have to worry about what you're ending up with. Right, we, so, we so, so real estate is clearly a premium on this amp because it is very compact. Yes. So we don't have a high level um, set of uh, plugs on it. It's very compact. So what I recommend in the Stinger X line, we make the X12 line, which is Ooh, a 16 hold on. gauge. Hold on. Speaker wire Hold with on. an RCA on it, and Dean's got one oh, or more. And he knows where they are. Or more, oh, and he knows where they are. It's like, <laughs> you get an RCA, you get yeah, everyone gets ours. This is my, yeah, this is my, this is my favorite thing. You guys make. X one two line. Right so there you go. Show them, Fernando. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. That's your X one two line. Here. We talked about those a bunch. So yeah. the nice thing about these is you can do a lot with them. Obviously, doing something like this has a balance line input is mm -hmm. phenomenal. Or, or my favorite use for them is when I'm doing a DSP, and my Jeez. amplifier is here and my DSP is here, and I'm not putting a, a foot and a half <laughs> RCA in there. I solder those two guys together, and then cover them in pretty shrink wrap, mm -hmm. and everyone goes. That's Whoa. why you're the expert. I wouldn't go that far, but... That was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the expert. And okay. the, the cool thing on so, those two is they have the markings for the polarity, so you, you know... That's right, yeah. You don't have to meter the end to figure out which energy. wire is what. I mean, you Correct. guys can see it, but yeah. Yeah. Is Isn't it so, square round, too? Yep. Is it square round? So we saw the five yeah. channel. Um, yes. Since we've seen the five channel... Where did it go? Oh, I put it over there. I'm sorry. I got excited. If you just cover up this part... Yes. <laughs> so we make a four channel version. That's a... 100 watt by 4 at 4 ohms. So it would look just like this if I was holding that. Just like that. Uh, 100 by 4 or does 150 by 4 at 2 ohms, for those of you who, are, who have 2 ohm speakers, because there are some out there, or, mm -hmm. or if you're going to wire up two pairs of speakers per output channel. Uh, and then there's a matching mono block, which is killer because a couple of things I really like. Um, number one, 100 by 4 in that chassis size. Most people, if you look around the industry, most people are giving you either 60 by 4 or 70 by 4. 70 by 4 is real popular. Real popular. Yeah. So we're giving you 100 by 4 in that in that chassis size and at that price. Which is cool. Yeah, I like that. What and then the monoblock is 800 and watts. 800 watts in the same chassis size. At 2 ohm or 1 ohm? 1 ohm. 1 ohm. Oh. That one's optimized for 1 ohm. Now these come with birth certificates, right? They do. Yeah. So every one of them is going to come with one of these. And... Each amplifier is connected on a test bench and measured out to make sure that it gives you the power that you paid for. So that is a birth certificate that is. What did this mean? Every right, this one too? 
it did it almost exactly what we rated the amplifier for in that particular case. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. In, in all cases, they'll do more than that. As soon as they hit the spec rating, they shut it off. Oh, so, really? So it will do more than that. All right, so Ben actually asked, uh, PG is making any class A B amplifiers anytime soon? That's a no. RX I'll take, what's that? Oh, look at that. RX404. Yeah, RX, oh, sorry. RX2, RX, in the Say it louder. RX2, 400.4. There you go. There you go. So the 400.4, mm. RX2. But not, they're not making any more than that, I'm assuming. No, because we have the new line that's coming out. GX is something that we'll see here in about uh, two months. Two yeah. months. Yeah. GX. I'm trying to think if we actually showed that. I know it would have been on day two of Long Beach. Did you show that on the CES? We didn't show on the CES no, show the because uh, we were asked not to. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they asked us not to show that one yet because they were yeah. still, still like, yeah, doing this. Well, the other then, thing that's yeah. really cool about these amplifiers, thermal stability is amazing on these amplifiers. So I've seen the tests on these amps at rated power. At eight hours of play at rated power does not exceed 98 degrees. So it was about 98 degrees. Isn't that a boy band? It, oh. Yeah, right? 98 degrees. And it's evenly distributed. The work that was done on the inside to get the, wow. the heat to evenly distribute throughout the amplifier well, is pretty yeah. amazing. I mean, you have all MOSFETs here, MOSFETs yeah. here, power supply. I mean, so this, if the amplifier gets so too it's, hot, obviously it's, it's going to either roll back power or go into thermal protection. Mm -hmm. These things are ridiculously thermally stable. And they're compact. So this will definitely go up underneath the seat. And like you said, how tall is it? Two inches. Two inches. One point nine, but you know, we like to thank right. John exactly. for making this. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This is small. Okay? Great little bricks. And then uh, where's the uh, base knob? Uh, okay. So the uh, five channel amplifier, the uh, monoblock, they all do come with a flush mount base knob. So this is the style I like. Back in the '80s, we used to take these apart and, and turn mm -hmm. the cigarette lighter into a base knob. So uh, anyway, so it's flush mount style. What makes cool this knob really, really cool, options. though? You said 80s. So, maybe, yeah, I did say the 80s. Now, what makes this base knob extremely cool is that there is like five eighths of an inch of actual thread area here, and that's important because a lot of times when you're going to put these into, like when you're getting the base knob, like he's talking about, where you have to take it all apart and pull this out, you only end up with like a quarter of an inch of play, and if you're trying to build like a front you know, laser cool panel that says the name of the amplifier on it or something like that. Um, or if you have a panel that's really thick or there's cross members in the way, this style base knob is really nice and easy to install custom into that cigarette lighter. Yeah. Actually, it's called a power port now, apparently. I Oh, yes. Stupid. Vape charger. Vape charger. Ooh, oh, wow. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. All right, you got. Yeah. You good? What do you got? I'm just, uh, oh. Sound dampening. And no, the, and the, no, that's the. the what, same, no, right? what he's asking is what is the dampening factor? These are all rated for greater than 200 on damping factor. Okay. There mm -hmm. you go. Cool. All right. All right. You have that back. All right, guys. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reorganize and shuffle the chairs back around, and we'll look at some more questions. Yep. So this is the time. Head into the bathroom, take a quick, you know, bladder relief, and we'll get you. We'll get right back. All right, uh, Rafael, es alta y baja, so estos amplificadores tienen el de cinco canales, el de dos canales, obviamente. I was just thinking the same thing. Oh, thank you. Right. Like that. You know, it's, it's funny when you said, like, I knew where they were at. Everything is strategically placed around here you know, so that we can grab it. Chaos. What happened? Yeah. 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 Hey, chair, no, you said, that, you said okay. that chair wouldn't hold it. Um, right. Totally rolling. Right. Right. We can have that right here. We can have that. There you go. We look at each other lovingly into each other's eyes. There you go. Tell me all the ways and means. Of and Westworth in there, people. Is that? Go back wide. There you go. All right. Ah. All right, so just, just to recap, so let's talk about the Phantom program for just a minute. What is the Phantom program, and why do you guys even exist? I mean, the, the Phantom program is here to support the dealers, right? And, and <laughs> to, to give us... All right, wait, wait, wait. What are you going to say, Steve? <laughs> 
Why do we even exist? Okay. <laughs> Why do you even exist, D? Why? I exist to uh, have Fernando so many so he can drive up the wall. I mean, pretty sure that's why I'm here. But okay, so go back to the Phantoms. Um, it, we're a support mechanism for Amp Global to the dealer channel, um, to the distributor channel. I mean, we do anything from dealer asset work, you know, where we come in and, and educate like we're doing tonight. Um, we do, Nathan does phenomenal jobs. I mean, we all do it with, you know, different marketing, uh, merchandising programs, things of that nature. Uh, we have display programs that we all come out and, you know, set up the dealer. So basically trying to take a lot of the back end work off, off the installers and the shop owners, we kind of, bring that asset to the table. So when you guys come out with like a new Echo Master display, you guys will go out to the store along with convincing the store that they need this and how it can help them and then right. show them like tips on how to sell it and advantages to it. You'll Absolutely. also go into the store, set it up, get it functioning. Reassemble it, get it all working. Because a lot cool. of times, you know, other companies supply displays to their dealers but then you guys have to take time in your day to put them together. Don't know anything about that. We got that one. It only took six, eight months before yeah. we got so, that display built. And, and that's what we found out early on, right? When we had display programs before the Phantom Teams, it was taking dealers, just like you said, six, eight months to get these displays working in their stores. Yeah. That means that you paid for a display, potentially, that's making you no money, giving you guys no asset, no, no extra abilities to sell properly with. So, again, that's kind of what we do. We, we kind of support that dealer in a, in a lot of different ways um, we have a lot of great new displays yeah, yeah. tons sound of deadening displays sound deadening. are awesome echo master displays sound deadening phoenix displays display. phoenix i like displays. the phoenix display yeah. Yeah. the one that has the, yeah. the factory radio in it right the yeah. Yeah. speakers everything yeah yeah that's nice. really cool yeah. Yeah. It is. super smart um you know the display we actually showed the heightened display this evening yeah. That's something that we're working on uh, to have a dealer interfacing set up for that as well. Oh, that's cool. So the way that's designed is it can either set on a counter or it can you can take the legs off of it and it can hang on the wall. Nice. Now, the other thing about being a Phantom means you get a cool pickup truck. We get cool trucks. Um, yeah, we've, we've all got range from 2016 to 2018 um, in the Chevy Silverado 1500 series trucks. So which, um, one, which one are you drive now? The 2016 uh, Chevrolet Silverado. Is yours the oldest? No. No. Okay. No. Who got the oldest one? Oh, you have the oldest one? You have the beater? Probably has the original. I have the original. Oh, uh, that's true. Ooh. So you have the 2000. What's in your What's in your Phantom? Because each uh, one oh. of them is also built differently. Slightly. So Slightly, yeah. 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 Yeah, so I have the uh, the DSP 8.8 as well as the SX series amplifiers and so on in that. Uh, How many that subs? Time. Three subs, three tens. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you hate it, basically. It's not loud enough for you. Oh, I... It's never yeah. loud enough. <laughs> it's, not, it's weak. He's over here going, I'd rather drive my Sonic. It's never loud enough. Uh, uh, what do you have in yours, Steve? Uh, I specify some weird stuff that they question me on. So, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're kidding. Yeah, so I have a 1204 for running the left front speakers. I have a 1204 for the right front speakers. Uh, I have a 1300 run one for running two TI-12. So I have a 6.3 tweeter. Uh, in the front on each side. A 6.3 side. tweeter? Mm -hmm. Wonder where those came from. Yeah, yeah. and so those are, that's bridged to uh, three channel on each side. So I have ultimate stereo separation because I got a left amp and a right amp, right? And, okay, uh, yeah, for two sure. Two shield 12s and And obviously DSP there's the DSPs and, buried in there yeah. somewhere. That one had to be, the box had to be specifically open I had some very one specific, side of the yeah. vehicle. I mean, it was... So you're the sound quality guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, had, I had some very specific wants and it turned out great. I Trucks bet it sounds like it. Jeez, yeah. oh man. There's a grip of power in there. What do you have in yours? Mine is the best, obviously. I'm is yours the tallest? Uh, it is. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah. 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 Think it is. Yeah. Barely. You got the six inch lifts, right? Seven. Seven inch lift. Well, but I mean, is yours raised? Did you? Three inch. It's just a. It's just a. Because uh, you're up in North kit. Dakota and in yeah, that yeah. little it's part of hell. It's just a leveling kit, so it's only like a three inch lift. Oh, okay. Well, if we got it up too high, we wouldn't be able to get in. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Shots know, fired. Man. And they're picking on your Ouch. shirt. Now they're doing the short guy is that saying that's why mine's you? lower. I, I just I, roll in. Uh, right here. <laughs> roll right in. And <laughs> Everyone that legs, comes here, they always go. They look at me and they go, I thought you'd be taller. I'm no, no, he's that short. Stop. Uh, <laughs> vertically challenged. Vertically Whatever. Challenged. All right. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Back oh, to yours. Okay, so hijack it again. Why don't you guys know? <laughs> You're raining so, on my parade, bro. <laughs> I wanted to show what our entry-level amplifiers can do so uh, I use TI3 woofers so I got three TI312s in my bed those are an entry-level but no, anyway amplifiers 
<laughs> Amplify. Slow down, killer. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> Just relax. I didn't bag on your system. Your, your weird off-the-wall stuff go. you got going on. Go. Anyway, so I've got an RX2-1000 on each woofer, and I've got two RX2-404s running the mids and highs, and i got a Heighten that's running optical to the DSP. Another... Oh, Robin says hi, by the way. Yeah, Robin says hi. Um, Anthony, say hello. There's a gentleman looking for Zen 9s. If he goes to the Robin uh, yeah. dealer, Phoenix Gold dealer page, mm -hmm. um, and you might be able to put that question out there to see if anybody can sign, find one. You know, you know the funny thing about Robin, right? Do you know his nickname? What is it? Biscuits. Oh, he's, named, he, he's got a biscuit nickname, too? That was a German nickname, but we won't go into that. Oh, wow. Um, but you, you know, you know, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. You should. <laughs> you should. Okay. What do you have? Is your slam to the ground and make no. a funny Latino? No, I have a, I have a 17. <laughs> about. Yeah, 17 Chevy. Uh, mine's got a six inch lift, so. We're right there. Yeah. One inch, man. Um, it's all the difference, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my cab's bigger. It so. is, but my bed's bigger, so. Oh my gosh, here oh. we go. Oh. Oh. All right, kids. Uh, All right. Yeah, I, have, I have two uh, two TI3 1200.4s on the highs and two TI3 1300.1s on four TI3 10s in the cut through. And then it's got two sets of six and a half inch components in the front. So that, has, that was the one you were DSP, talking about? DSP, and there's an Elevate in there right now. And I'm just waiting for that sweet kit that we were showing earlier to put a 10 in my dash. What do you have in your dash? I got an Elevate. You, so you all have Elevates yeah. now, except for you have the 10, because you have the beta. And oh, yeah, you have the, you have the other one. That's out there, too. We also have tons, tons, of, tons of sound dampening, cameras, yeah, and, and all that stuff, too. There's so well, cameras all the way around the truck. Yeah. I mean, it's, the it's lane departure there. and the, right. the third brake light cam and there all that truck truck stuff. And they're so built for events. That. They're built to... Yeah, we they're built to show plug in a power supply in and play yeah. loud all day long. The whole thing is, again, with the truck, like we said, we go out and support the dealers. But when we get there, I mean, I've had several guys, I pull up to their shop, and they grab my keys and walk customers out to the truck and use the truck to As a tool. close sales. Oh, totally. Yeah. I don't give time. my dealers the keys. I don't trust them. But. <laughs> don't it was in California. I guess we gone. It doesn't matter if it's in Northern California. It's still California. Yeah, right? No, they're built. We, we all fill up those trucks with samples, all of the, the beds full and everything else. But the cool thing is, is they're all built so cool, we can pull it all out for a show on any given weekend and roll it out and, and have it be show quality. Do you guys have tents? Yes. 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 Yeah. We all have tents. We all have the trucks are built in power supplies with them. So there's a mm -hmm. waterproof connector underneath the belly pan of the passenger seat. Unplug it, plug in an extension cord and we can run off the shop power. Plug into your Stinger power supply, the, the power of those Stinger batteries that are in there. Is it the Stinger oh, power supply? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 75 amp power supplies with the little, little, little controller. Yeah, the little controllers. Mm -hmm. SCM. Yeah, that's the solution to, I don't want to buy a bigger alternator. I can just get one of those and plug it into the wall at night and charge my batteries. Yeah, or in your case, sit in the parking lot all afternoon. But all of our yeah. trucks do have upgraded alternators on them. We partner with Ohio Generator. Tom at Ohio Generator builds all the alternators for us. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, any any show coming out? The, you guys gonna be? I mean, any of you guys? I think uh, all of Knowledge, Knowledge yeah. Fest will be the next one. Yeah, Knowledge Fest will be the next one. There's uh, Jeep <laughs> Beach coming Hoping? up in Florida. Hoping <laughs> summer. Yeah. Summer we're gonna have it. If it indeed so. happens, I'll have my truck at Knowledge Fest in Indy. Me too. Yeah, so you will oh, too. Yeah, me too. That's You're gonna right. drive down? Yeah. I always do. That's right. I, I don't remember. You're a phantom at Knowledge Fest, so we no. won't even go there. He was. He was there. I he know was he was there. I tried. You, dude. It's the only, it's like, was it like three o'clock in the morning? And, oh, yeah. and then here comes Steve. Hey guys. And you're like, <laughs> everyone else is going like this. And Steve, Steve, like Steve just walks in. Tuesday. And, hey guys, how's everybody doing? And you're like, it's a regular Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the heck? It's incredible. After a late night of dad guitar. Dad guitar. Oh man. You haven't seen this guy's dad guitar. What is dad guitar? Oh my gosh. It's like your guitar, only different. Whip it out right now. <laughs> oh god. The dad guitar. Do then. not whip it out. That's ah, too early. <laughs> so the 70 amp is the SPS 70. So that's if you guys oh, are wanting to that. Six cylinder phantom trucks with five inch lifts. Yeah, we should it's, talk yeah, we about got, that guy who's not here. We got one more yeah, guy. We got one more phantom that's missing. Uh, that's Mike Hall, right? Yes. Sir. Yes. Uh, he's we got a V6. Yeah. Some of us have V6s. V6. Who has a V6? You have a V6? All right, well, you don't count. 
You guys all have V8s, right? Yeah, I have V8. I was, was going to say, you need a V8. You yeah. you definitely need a V8. You need a V8. You, uh, yeah, you need don't. a V8. I but don't. stick the guy really? with yeah, the it's all flat. snow it's all yeah. flat. and give him a two-wheel drive six-cylinder. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're kidding. Texas is yeah. flat. So, Texas, or, I, you know. Yeah, and so my calls are Phantom in the Pacific Northwest. And, Based out uh, of Seattle. Yeah, yeah. so Mike, Mike didn't make it to this we'll one. We miss you, Mike. We yeah, miss, miss you, Mike. We miss you, Mike. There you go. Well, so if you're up in the Pacific Northwest and you want to visit a show or a pack dealer and say, you need to get their cool Phantom truck out here so I can play with it. All right, so it's been an hour. Uh, Has quick. it been an hour? Yes, oh, my gosh. It's been an hour. Uh, so real quick, where they can find you? Uh, if they're a dealer and they don't know that you dealer, exist. In what area? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, Northern California and Northern Nevada. Question? I'm um, Georgia, South Carolina, and then Ohio Valley. <laughs> Makes no North sense. and South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Northern Indiana. Oh my God. <laughs> Texas. I'm just Texas now. Okay. I don't well, know. That doesn't and seem of course, like enough. Mike, Florida. <laughs> Florida. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for giving us an hour of your time. And, Anytime. you know, this is two years now. We're, we're thrilled to have you. We hope you guys learned a bunch of stuff. Uh, I know I certainly did, especially with Echo Master. That mm -hmm. was really cool. It's nice to actually get to see these products. This is some of the first, this is some of the, this is like the first time we're seeing some of this stuff and actually being able to touch it, feel it, and play with it and pretend like we're punching things. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank Mike Eckley for putting this together and of course all you guys for making the we're trip down. and taking yep. your time out. <clears throat> and with that, we'll end the show as always. If you guys want to get cool t-shirts, you can find them at teespring slash door slash five star. If you want to learn anything about these guys, you can find, you can go to the AMP Global homepage and there you'll find links to all the other sites that we talked about, all the cool equipment. And also don't forget to join the 12 volt clean wire club here on Facebook. All you got to do to become a member is Say I want to join and we'll go through and make you a member and then you can post up pictures of your cool clean wire or see somebody else who's done it and learn from them. And then of course head over to YouTube and check out our new channel which is Dean and Fernando's Car Stereo Clips. Just do a channel search for it. It's a new channel so it's going to take a little while before the algorithm does its cool stuff. But with that we'll let you guys go and get on with your nights. Have a good night. We'll see you back here tomorrow on 5 Minutes with 5 Star on Instagram. Or you can check us out Saturday on YouTube at 6 o'clock where we will be answering all your questions and having a good time as always. Fernando, end the show. Bye.